Bob in Chicago, which we were just there a little while ago. He says, hey, Paul, I have microphone have microphones advanced as much as speakers and phono cartridges over the years with the newest cone materials, exotic materials and magnets. It's clear to me that audio transducers like phono cartridges and speakers handle sound far more accurately than those of the past. Boy, you got that right. Uh, but what about microphones? Are the mics that Octave Records use today any better than, say, for example, the legendary Neumann U47 condenser mics of 60s? If not, why? Well, hmm, it's a really good question. The quick answer is, oh yeah, there have been some huge improvements in microphones. For example, some of the microphones that we use at Octave Records are made from a local company here called DPA. And they make some spectacular microphones. And I, when I say it's just down the road, that's their local office. I think they're actually from Denmark, if I remember correctly. But DPA makes some microphones that go from, oh, two or three hertz up to 50 or 100 kilohertz. I mean, crazy talk, right? Nothing years ago back in the, in the Neumann days ever considered doing anything like that. So a Neumann is a large capsule condenser microphone, and these are tiny capsule condenser microphones. They have the, the little preamps built in. It uses a 48 volt phantom power supply to power it, where a Neumann comes with its own big power supply and all that. Now we have the Neumann U47 and a few other Neumanns, um, we also have um, a, what's it called, Earthworks. I'm not sure on the history of Earthworks or where they're from, but I use the Earthwork condensers on a routine basis. Those things are flat to five hertz. That's impressive. And way past 20 kilohertz. I mean, it is an amazing microphone. So between Earthworks and DPAs, we've got microphones that just blow the socks off of older microphones. Having said that, we also have all the older microphones. The AKG C24, the, the Telefunkens, the Neumanns, the Sennheisers. I've got a couple of Sennheisers. I don't, I'm not good with remembering models, so I apologize. But these are thousand dollar microphones <coughs> that are by Sennheiser and they're ultra hypercardioids. I mean, these things, so a cardioid is a pattern, right? So if you have an omni pattern, that means it picks up everything around the microphone. If you have a cardioid pattern, it ha makes this little, this little shape. So I might be talking, if, if this is the microphone I'm talking here, and if I get off here, it won't pick me up, or it significantly reduces the amplitude of me off. And these are spectacular, because you can take the Sennheiser mic, and if you have a, a guy playing a guitar and singing, you put one for him singing and one on the guitar, and the two don't really interfere with each other. So, I mean, a classic problem in recording is this playing a guitar and singing into two separate microphones. If you're going to do that, better to use one microphone if you can get away with it that has a large pattern because then it'll sound much more natural. But if you're trying to separately mic it so that later on you can adjust the levels, which is nice, it's really hard because you get phase differences between the two microphones. One bleeds into the other, so if you turn the guitar up, some of the voice goes up with it, and maybe you don't want to do that. And if you're only one microphone, you have to turn the whole thing up or down. You hope you get the blend right. So this microphone, especially on stage, I use these a lot when we do live recordings. These old Sennheisers have been around for 30 years. They're hypercardioids condenser microphones, but dynamic condensers, and they have a glorious sound to them. But I can point one right at the acoustic guitar. I just did that two nights ago. And one right at the singer. And I have complete control over the level of both of those, and they sound great. I don't know of anything manufactured today that does that. So to sum this up, yes, microphone technology has evolved greatly, but we still have the sound of different microphones that we choose 
this one we love for piano, this one sounds particularly good on voice, this one works great on a snare or a tom, et cetera, et cetera. So that's one of the reasons at Octave Records we have almost every major microphone that any recording studio would use, we've got it and we use them and they all have their good purposes. All right, thanks for the question. Bye.